It's been a while. <laughs> How's it going? Ay, 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 ay. Okay. So, as in the title, I'm going to be playing a Pico. I don't think it's a game that I played. Okay, I think I forgot to put the sound for it. Hi. Okay. New world. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Love in my life. Can you guys hear the game? Bro, for real. What if I put... My goodness. This is what happens when you don't stream in a while. I can hear the audio, but y'all can hear the audio. It says, Dear Antoinette, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Grams had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition. 
and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. <laughs> Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you, you soon. Love, Nana. Hello. Hi. This is Skipper. He him. Oh, it has pronouns. Ah! <laughs> I love how that has me excited. How would I do a voice for him? <laughs> okay. Woohoo, we made it, Antoinette. And just as yo, we're getting your sea legs, yeah. That's all I could say. Woohoo. Here we are, Port Apico, and what a lovelier day it is. Oh my god, I can hear the audio and it's hella loud. Jesus! Jesus. Jesus Christ. It was jolly. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak. After so long, it was jolly good to have ya. Af <laughs> I'm gonna keep laughing. Aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Still, ya still remember ya way around the place. Where the, where the, where the freak did I get my accent at? Ha <laughs> No problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. That, that is different. Anyway, your best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzing ever since Yaleta. Period. If you need anything, just holla. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful now. Blah, I connected so those sentences. Um, now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with ya. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Hoo -hoo. Hive mother. <laughs> She's so cute. I like the pixels. Nana Balia, she, her. Oh, Antoinette, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or... Sorry, there's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. Why am I doing accents? For real. <laughs> <laughs> when you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. Ah, uh, switching up sentences. Switching up sentences. Period. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It will mean a lot to both of us. I hate, I hate it when I, when I <laughs> ask sentences or rearrange them. I'm not dyslexic. I swear. I swear. I hope. Well, I will. You can view the guide at any time with G. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through. And I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. So, gee, okay. Well, anyway, look at me. I talked the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. <sighs> Welcome to a Pico Claim Reward. Oh, shizzle puffs. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get lost, if you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book at any time by pressing G or clicking the icon in the middle, in the bottom middle bar. You can close any books and all menus in the game by pressing Escape. As you progress, you will unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, have a freebie. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. Okay. 
in a pico, you can move up, down, left, and right with W S A D. I always say W A S D. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tool tip in the corner with more information and how you can use it. Useful, huh? You can interact with anything around you with the cursor. You can reach quite far with those cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick some flowers. Thank you for the follow. I'm like so jumping. Jumping Skito. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Where was I? Punching some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds, just go hog wild. Let's go, Argo. Some forest spirits take this axe. <gasps> An axe is like Minecraft. When you left click something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with cursor. Select that fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar keys 1 through 8 or pick it up with the cursor. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling with the scrolling button, obviously. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said don't think about it. Go and left click on some trees with the axe. You can hold down the left click button too. Collect 10 logs and then come back here for a reward. Okay, okay, okay. W A S D. Okay, do I just? It's like Minecraft. Let me see. Every 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 five minutes. Okay. I don't know why the fine's not. Mm. Is that even like? Oh my gosh, is it popping up on the Spotify? Oh my goodness. Let me see. Uh, I don't even have it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. This is what happened when I don't stream in a while. Properties, input, okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, live update. I haven't streamed what? Since the 6th, okay? I did Lost Art for the first time. Haven't played it since. Bo, 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 bo. Uh... It's so weird that I can hear it, but OBS is not, like, taking it, you know? Uh, it says it's active. Huh. I wonder why. It will be alright. <laughs> what if I... As I was saying, have a stream six. I've been 
chilling, reading. Life for real, it's not showing up. Oh, I hear it. It's not showing up. Okay, okay, okay. Bruh. Any gays. Anyways. Where'd I put it? I can hear it slightly. Like, very, 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 very little. I have so many settings. That's crazy. Ah. My phone. Okay, and then put that down. Oh, it's late the time. Oh, it's late the time. Oh, it's time, it's time. Oh, you need me. Oh, let me. It's good, it's good, it's good. Holy way. Oh, life update. Oh my gosh, this is legit like Minecraft. That's, well, not like legit, le legit. How many did I need? Ten. But I've been chilling, reading, taking time for myself. <laughs> um, Doing homework. Resource management. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. Left click will pick up any item in the slot and move it to any other slot. Right click will pick up half of a stack or drop one item from a stack you have picked up. Scroll on an item to collect as many of that item as you can, as you have in that menu. Crafting! Wow! Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and pluck it down somewhere. Once you, once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you see a recipe, a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one, and come back here, what would you kindly? Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menu, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft them. Oh, that's cool. So I need, what, 20? You get acorns too? As I was saying, uh, uh, do, 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 do. it was saw bench, right? Craft. Last week, we got a new puppy. So... That's been getting a lot. His name is Jack. He's a Shih Tzu. He is 14 weeks this week. Um, I've been waking up at around 8 and going to sleep around 10, 11. So, of course, my sleep schedule is very different from what I've used to. It's kind of like back then when I, like, we had Hazel. But yeah, new dog. I'll show you guys a picture here later on. Okay, crafting. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plug it down somewhere. Once you've once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs. Oh wait, bro. Why am I reading this? Next steps. That's all from this introduction, but don't worry we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company 
I mean, that actually sounds great. Actually. As you discover and craft new items, you unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. So make sure to keep an eye here. Now, go little one, be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all, just dust. Go and take this with you. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, me, I was never in love. Oh, yeah, no copy. Carpentry 101. Okay. Now you have a saw bench, you can start cutting up your logs into other materials. Place the log in the left input input slot and you'll then see a little circle handle appear. Click and drag the handle with the cursor left and right to cut your logs into wooden planks. You can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks, which are used for crafting tools and throwing at birds for trying to steal your stuff. Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your tools and won't have to chop wood by hand unless that's your sort of thing. No judgment here. So wood planks and wood sticks. How many am I supposed to have? I feel like having them too close. Uh, I need 10. And then... I wish you could go with the WASD. I can't. Oh my god. Hold on, bro. What in the butterfly, butterfly? Okay. Basic tools. To collect certain resources, you need the right tools for the job. You can't just go around punching trees. Axes let you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxes let you mine stones from rocks. Spades let you dig up place seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up place crafting items, beehives, and tiles. If you make yourself one of each, I'll give you a bunch of rocks. Don't ever say I don't give you nice things. Okay, get building. You know you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I think it's time we get you building your own place. Place tiles and walls will automatically snap the grid, and you can hold down left click to place multiple at once. If you make a mistake, you can use a hammer to pick it up again. As you must have realized by now, there's a lot of menus in this game. If you're unsure what a menu is or what you can do, with it, just press the question mark button for some handy hints.
You can move any open items by dragging the top menu bar. Menus will stay put open until you close them or get too far away from them. They just miss you so much you can see. At this point, you're probably sick of moving things one by one. If only there was a quicker way to move stuff around. Luckily for you, there is. With any two items are open, you can use shift while clicking the left cursor to move that stack to the other menu. If you have more than two menus open, you can use the X button to set that menu as the target. All shift click items will be yeeted over to the target menu. Whee! You can also press Q while hovering over any menu to set it as the target. Now we're cooking. You already amassed quite a horde of stuff, huh? You're like a smug dragon lounging on your mountain of leaves and wood. At this point, though, it's probably getting hard to keep on top of said mountain. But oh boy, do we have a solution for you. Luckily, your inventory and any crate item has built-in auto sort functionality. Simply click the down button to the left of the menu and all contents will be sorted alphabetically. Blah, blah, blah. You can also click with the scroll button on any empty slot. Uh, now that feels better. Are you enjoying the peaceful world of a Pico? Want to show off your amazing appearance to the world? You can turn on photo mode at any time by pressing Q. Photo mode will hide all the menus and buttons so that you can get yourself cool screenshots. We'd love to see the beautiful things you've created. You can share with us on Twitter by mentioning us directly at a pico underscore game or using the hashtag, hashtag a pico. You can also show off your base in the Epico forums. We'd love to see you there. Waiting around. At the beginning, you might find there's not much you can do during the night or while it's raining if you haven't got any heats that are active during those times. Benches and beds let you take a nap. While you're dreaming of bees, time in the game will speed up. This makes the day pass quicker, which affects trees and saplings you've planted as well as helps weather and quicker. Sleeping in the bed will also set your spawn point. Holding R for 5 seconds will respawn you back at the last bed you slept in. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be realistic. The Honeymoon Phase If you look up at night past those giant brown rectangles that you pretend don't exist, sometimes you'll see the moon. Each day, the moon moves through one of its eight cycles, cul culminating in a full moon. During a full moon, you'll find yourself far more lucky than usual, a great time to buy a lottery ticket. Honey core also resonates more strongly during a full moon. It's, I'm sure that's probably important. Okay. Let's get the basic tools. Oh, it's right here. So I need more sticks. See pickaxe. I need more sticks. Get building. Oh. 
carpentry. Uh, that's actually fun. Don't know need. Okay, let's find a place. We could do right here, right? Can't even go over there. Can't. Hmm. Ooh, over here. Oh, it automatically switches. That's cool. Oh, gotta be careful. So I should probably move one down. gonna have to make another axe in a bit oh okay do you need a stronger pickaxe This is a bench can spawn you near, right? Where'd it go? Okay, I don't even know where it went. Too deep, too deep. Oh, so it's like... Got another bee. These are like
Okay. Let me just... Also, if you guys didn't know about that bees, they don't... Once the sun is down, they're knocked out. Oh. Oh. Okay, I need to... Hello? Should I... Should I do this? Oh! Trash can! Oh, different flooring. Oh, and you paint too? Okay. Let's go back. Wee. Oh, too deep, too deep. Was it nine? What is that? New discovery. Rocky B. Asus Petra Rocky B. Asus Petra secrets a highly acid acidistic saliva which is used to mulch out great warrens through bedrock. Curiously, however, they leave manufactured stone untouched, a relief to the homeowners of Archipelago. Pelagajo. Special produce stone. Small rocks that are formed while the hive is working can be used in crafting. Conservative conservation status plus. Rehabilitate more bees to save this species. Okay. Is there a way to like Move. Oh. Common B. Okay. Now, now. What's actually going through the time? So, 
Oh, every bee has a set of traits depending on their species. When you crossbreed bees together, the queen inherits a mix of traits from both bees. Green is the lifespan. This determines how long a queen's lifespan will be. The higher the number, the longer the life. Yellow is product productive bee. Productivity. Oh my. Product. Blah, blah, blah. This is how much honeycomb or frame products a queen hive will produce. Higher productivity means more goodies. Red. Fertility. This is how many offspring a queen will produce at the end of her life. Higher numbers mean more babies. This is communia. Common bee. The common bee is found practically everywhere on the arc. Pelago, a generally friendly, dependable, and well-rounded species. It forms the backbone of our modern apiculture. Special produce, bee pollen, used by many as a homeopathic path, pathic medicine. Personally, it just makes sneeze, me sneeze a lot. Conservative status, thriving. This species is safe. Oh. Verge bee. Unlike its land based cousins, the verge bee thrives in water. While other species might avoid inclement weather such as rain, this species will continue to be active. Special produce? We don't know. Fill frames using this species to learn more. Consider a status? Thriving. This species is safe. Okay. Get building. Wood brain and I need to go back and forth. You can't like put it back. Okay, so I need another workbench. So I need to cut down this tree. And then five. And then I need a call bench, right?
Nein. Anna Mika predictor. Oh, a backpack. Five clicker. I was supposed to have what these flooring and wall. Boring and Nah, that would be my running back and forth. My running back and forth tool. Uh 
I use this for I want to show them. You guys want to see the puppy? You want to see Jax? Such a baby. Such a baby. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Sorry, she's allergic. <laughs> Hold on, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> I, I hope she takes care of I took my Ellie Echo. Like I said, I'm allergic to him. <laughs> what movie is that from? A Pico? Yeah. It's it's a basically like Minecraft, mm -hmm. but like you're breeding bees. Mm. Bees. I want to play that. It's well, it was free on Amazon. I don't know if it's free now. Mm. Anything with like I farming. Use my, or I use my Prime. Like I use my Prime. Cause like you could you could get free things with your Prime if you use it. <laughs> yeah it's just it's just like yeah it's very cold like two days ago it was like hot i don't know that's because weather is very 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 weird I don't think I need any acorns right now. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, that was really loud. Look at me. I forgot if I could change. Change the time. Remove Buzzy Fan. Yes, please. Thank you very much. It's so nice, bro. Make boring, boring wood.
Fucking scoring and what? Scoring. Wood wall. There we go. Oh, so if you built yourself a cute little house or decided to embrace that hashtag ferment, forest hermit life, no judgment here. Now, wouldn't it just be sweet as honey if you could paint the, that little house or color code your storage? Well, goodness, you can craft dyes using flowers and glue and use a paintbrush to paint any tile, wall, or object any color you like. If you decide you want a change of scenery, you can craft a scraper to remove it. To remove it. I feel like I would do that. Yeah, his name is Dan, if you guys didn't know. We have our fluffy thing. You can't breed with queens. Jeez. Did I just... Okay, uh, can't be honey rose.
Aua, aua, aua. Glue. How do you get glue? Finding bees. Let's get to why you're really here, bees. To get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in different areas. Try having a look around for bees flying around. Eventually, they'll head back to their hive. To start, you'll need a plain old common bee, a bee from the forest, and a bee from the shores. Once you find a hive, you can open it with the cursor to have a look inside it and take any of the bees with you. You can pick up a hive with the hammer gently. Okay. So forest bee and a bird bee. We got those. Whee. Oh, it has to be in the water. B 
beekeeping 101. Now you have some bees and a beehive, you can start breeding bees. To, ooh, to breed bees, pay, place two bees in the left in, hand input slots of, of a hive to re, create a queen. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices. Down, we have forest, and then common. Then we have common queen in there. Let me get two. Then we have the queen. And then we have bird it's gonna be okay. Right, right, right. Wait, wait, wait. Forest. So many. I wanted to hold 10 commie bees and a honeycomb. And my inventory? That's crazy. I need some more bees.
honey. Yeah. Flower power. Sure. Sworn war. Oh, these are one, two, three, four, Ross, breeding flowers is easy. Your, your bees do all the hard work for you. When a bee visits a flower, it collects some pollen, seeds, and all sorts of other flower goop and take it back to the hive. When using frames in your apiaries, this goop collects in the frames and get all mixed together. Based on the flower your bees visit, you'll get different seeds when you extract your frames. If you're lucky, the different seeds can mix, giving you new species and hybrid, hybrid seeds. You may not have noticed some fluttering friends appearing around your flowers. Butterflies are not only great company, but great pollinators helping to spread flowers similar to how bees do. When butterflies are in butterfly hotels, they can cause cross-mutation of their favorite flowers, leading to entirely new variants. If you're interested in learning more about butterflies, head west and find Dr. Stowe. Ro Honey Rose Known for its sweet scent, the honey rose is the most common flower in the archipelago and is renowned by beekeepers for its marvelous calming effects on apiaries when smoked. This flower has no special effect. This scent of this flower is known to calm the following species. Swarmwort. This delightful aquatic lotus-like flower thrives in the shallow areas around land. The blue dye produced by processing swarmwort is one of the most popular dyes used in fashion. This, has, this flower has no special effect. The scent of this flower is known to calm the following species. Beekeeper's Delight When the sun shines bright, beeke beekeeper's delight shines almost as brightly back. Only found in temperate climates, it's seen as a symbol of good luck and a blessing from the hive mother herself. This flower has no special effect. Okay. Uh, so I could put it back, right? Tapping trees, what's brown and sticky? Well, okay, yeah, I guess so. But I was thinking more about tree resin. Collecting resin from trees will let you infuse your wood to make it more versatile and long last longer for beekeeping purposes. To get resin from a tree, you'll need to craft a tree tap. You can use a tree tap by equipping it and clicking on a tree with left click. So I know we have tree. right here. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I'll be there. We'll do like 10.
Don't you just love the rain? No? Oh, well, bad news about this chapter, I'm afraid. As you might have realized, not all bees like the rain, but some bees love it. It's also a really useful source of water if only we had a way to collect it, though. Oh, wait, we do. You can craft rain tanks to collect and store rainwater. Later on, when you're all sucked up on honey, we can combine the two and make some delicious epicola. Rain tank. Where is it? Bench, trash can, bookshelf, magazine. Beehive, bee box. Candle maker, predictor, wooden frame. Oh, I should plant them around, huh? I wish I have them near the water. Dang it, um, ooh.
So I have to make Yeah, 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 yeah. Money.
Let me go get my other ones. Oh. I'll see you guys next time. It's time to get home. Oh boy.